Solar bowling oven by the Solar Sous Chefs. First, start with a cardboard box, aluminum foil, a small metal bowl, a larger glass bowl that the metal bowl can fit into, barbecue or stove paint in black, saran wrap, scissors, a ruler, tape, and an oven thermometer if you want. First, spray paint the outside of the metal bowl with the black paint as directed on the can. Let that dry, and as you're letting it dry, take the cardboard box, flatten it out, just like this, and make sure the tabs are facing towards you. Next, take the ruler and the scissors, and about every two inches, cut from the bottom of the tab, the top tab, all the way to the crease where it, fits the where it hits the rest of the box. Now keep doing this all the way across um, the bottom tabs. And if your fingers get tired from trying to cut the box, just come back and do it later. <laughs> all right, now that we've got that done, um, take it so that the, the tabs are facing to your left or right, and then start creasing the box. Now bend it about where you cut every single one of those slits, and bend it from the top to the bottom so that the whole thing's creased, just like in the video here. And you can even try a rolling technique that sometimes helps it kind of curve. The whole goal is to make the whole thing curved. So however you can best do that, just do it. <laughs> and we've got one side done. Just flip it around and start the other side. Take one side done. And then do the same on the other side here. Bending. And see, there's the rolling. That helps a lot, actually. Okay, now that we've got that done, try to stand up the box so that the flaps on the bottom are supporting it. Take the two flaps on the back that aren't cut and fold them up, and then fold the front tabs up as well. This is kind of a tricky process, so you might have a friend help you, um, but you can do it on your own, I promise. <laughs> Even we had trouble with this. All right. Yay, you got it sitting up. Now turn it around to the back flaps that you haven't cut yet, and cut two slits from the bottom to where it meets the box. This is just so the whole thing can curve in a little easier. Um, you can do more cuts if you want to, but two is about all that's necessary. Okay, now we're going to curve the whole thing in and tape it so that it stays put. Start overlapping the tabs that you cut earlier. Um, usually if you start with the outermost on the bottom and then fold it in more so that the entire thing is in about a semicircle shape. Now either have a friend hold this down for you, or you can hold it down with your knee. Yep, we're using the knee technique here. I don't have friends. <laughs> um, then take tape, preferably um, duct tape, but scotch tape will work if you don't have any duct tape. And just tape all the tabs together exactly how they are. And just keep taping until nothing moves when you let go of it. This is going to take a fair amount of tape, but it doesn't have to be pretty. Just tape wherever, as much as you can. A couple more pieces. The whole goal is just to make sure that it keeps that curved shape. Yeah, almost done. One extra piece just to make sure it stays put. Now we're almost done with the reflector panel. One more step. Okay, the last step to do the to finish the reflector panel is to coat the inside of it with aluminum foil.
Make sure that the shinier side of the alumina foil is facing out and take large strips from the roll of aluminum foil in your kitchen and tape it to the inside of the reflector panel just with normal scotch tape or the duct tape if you had that and want to keep using it. And just do this so it coats the whole inside um, surface of the reflector panel. and make sure it's as flat and smooth as possible um, to help reflect the most sun that we can to get as hot as we can to cook your food. Okay, now that we're done with that, this is one we had earlier, <laughs> now you want to take those bowls that you had and the metal bowl that you painted earlier and take them all outside into the sun. All right, so put the small metal bowl inside the glass bowl. And if this metal bowl doesn't have a lid, then use the saran wrap and put saran wrap over the top of it to help insulate the metal bowl. Make sure the whole thing's covered and there aren't any gaps. Now's the time to put in the thermometer if you have one or want to use it. This way we can tell exactly how hot it gets inside the cooking bowl. Now inside this metal bowl is where the food's going to go when you want to cook it. We're preparing this with no food because we didn't have food at the time and we just wanted to show how to make the oven. Now you're almost done. One more step. If you've got some extra cardboard or aluminum foil lying around, it's good to make a bottom pad to help insulate the heat even more and reflect the sun's energy. So just take a piece of cardboard, put aluminum foil over it, and put the solar bowling oven on top of it. And now you're done, and you're ready to